he gave me these and said you're my daughter hey guys so i have so many things to do today and it, tomorrow is the first day of school so i just thought i want to take you in a day in the life of me i literally i need to make my bed i need to clean my room like this is the real me guys and you guys are gonna get to see it and i don't even care how bad this vlog is i'm just gonna do it so without further ado let's get into my day thing I need to do is pick up my outfit for today. Right now, this, these are my pajamas. Just got these shorts from Justice and a Famous Birthdays t-shirt from Famous Birthdays. And I don't think I want to wear that today. So let's find an outfit. So if I'm honest with you guys, sometimes I have to like pick an outfit just for a video because like some clothes just don't look good in videos, you know? But today I'm just embracing that and I'm gonna wear a shirt that I don't think looks good in videos but like looks good in real life and I am gonna be wearing With unmade bed and everything, I'm gonna be wearing this I Love Hair shirt and a pair of shorts. Got this one. Ooh, ooh, I should wear the, these. No, one of these. I don't care what you guys think of my outfit so I'm gonna wear these Aztec shorts because I don't wear them enough so yeah let me get these out all right now i'm gonna throw this on not literally but see you in a second here's it on i got this shirt from paris and these shorts are from target i got them last year and they probably won't fit next year so gotta use them while it lasts Guys, yesterday I went to Playland for the first time. So Playland is a very popular amusement park in Vancouver. And of all the 14 years I have lived near it, I have never been there. And I actually almost didn't want to go just so I could keep telling people I haven't been there. You know? Anyways, I went there. That's why my voice kind of is kind of scratchy because I, oh my goodness, I scream so loud. I'm so, so good at screaming. I'm just telling you guys, like, I'm so good at screaming. If you need a screamer for your movie effects, just hit me up because, yeah. This vlog is like so not what I usually do. I'm just like walking around on my phone. Wow, like I'm such a good vlogger. That's totally okay, you know? This is me, wow. And now it's time to do the hair. So I've been trying to teach myself how to curl my hair with a straightener cause like I don't want to buy a curler cause I can never figure them out no matter how hard I try. So I think I might just attempt to do that like right now, like just for practice, but I probably won't wear it all day. You know what, let's just do it. Come with me. So like my hair, when I brush it, it gets all poofy and then I can't wear it down. And like, right now it's looking good. But I don't want to ruin it by trying to curl it and then it fails and then I can't wear it. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna brush my teeth real quick, so. Star Wars. Fun fact, I've never seen Star Wars. This is more of like a lazy day at home outfit because I'm not going anywhere. We tried to go to open gym, but I don't think it's on tonight, but it's on tomorrow. So my gym has been closed for a week and they are painting it and they got some new equipment stuff and they're moving like everything around. <coughs> Sorry, toothpaste. And I am like shook. And our gym used to be orange, blue, and green, and now it's just blue and green. They painted over the orange, like, what? And yeah, so it's been closed for a week for all that because they do that every year. My gym closes for a week and they do it for like cleaning purposes. I don't know how much they're actually cleaning it this time. I don't know, they might not even clean it, but. But yeah, I know that the beams are moving in the other room, which is where the temple track usually is. If you, if you haven't seen my gym tour where I showed you a tour of my gym, click that in the corner right now and there will be the gym tour linked there. Anyways, enough rambling. Let's do some tooth floss ASMR. This is fruit flavored. Ow. Guys, you should really be flossing your teeth. I don't care what you think. You should be flossing your teeth because it's got tiny. Fun fact, I drool all over when I brush my teeth and floss my teeth so I can't leave anywhere but the sink. Oh, also, I went on a vacation for like a few days. Oh my goodness, just like spit on my... When I was at my grandma's house, I went to go train for one day at a different gym and it was pretty fun, it was three hours. And yeah, I just wanted to put that out there because some people actually saw me, like recognized me there, so shout out to you. And we were originally gonna go back a second day, but I didn't really want to that much, so we didn't go because it was a few dollars. Should I just like French braid my hair or curl it? 
I literally don't even know what to do with my life right now. This has been filming for nine minutes, guys. I think I should just braid my hair and I'll get back to you. And we are done with the French braids. They actually worked out. And I'm very proud of myself. And yeah, they gotta stick out because I have super short hair now. All right, first task is to clean up this mess. Um, it's mainly messy because I had to make some scrunchies for my friend. By the way, shameless plug, but I have an Etsy, and the link is always in the description, and I sell scrunchies and Bethany G wristbands. These are the wristbands that you can buy on my Etsy shop, and if you buy three or more scrunchies, you can actually get one of these for free. By the way, on my Etsy shop, I actually have a bunch of things that are expiring, a bunch of items. So if I know that you guys still want to buy scrunchies from me, I um, I won't restock until like I sell a few more things. So check it out. Okay, so it's getting cleaner. Um, I still need to do my bed, but we got a lot of stuff done over here. That stuff has to go in my school bag because I have been using the same school bag, I love it so much, since grade five, but it's starting to get holes in it. So we decided to get one to last me all the way until grade 12. So I will show you that bag a little bit later. But I'm just gonna make my bed and then I'm gonna print out a photo for my photo wall. I got a Instax printer for my birthday and I love it. This is not sponsored, but I seriously love this thing because, like, I'm really picky with pictures. So if I had an Instax camera, it would, like, totally ruin my life because I would mess up every single photo, basically. But this way, I can be trendy and picky at the same time. So, yeah. Photo wall. So we first had this picture from last night when I went to Playland. And then this one from Paris. I really love it. And this one from Gymnastrata, VidCon, um, Paris again. This is my internet best friend, Katie. And this is me and my friend, Elise. We painted our hands, and that was a few weeks ago. And I love to display all these memories, and it's so cute. And I love it so much. When I was at my grandma's, we did tie-dyeing, and it was so fun. And I love how both of these turned out. We found these white shirts at the Superstore for only, like, $2. And these are kid sizes. I got an extra large. Um, so it's a bit oversized, and it was like such a good find. I just can't get over it. Usually white shirts are pretty expensive, but these are like soft, and they fit so well, and I just can't get over it. But I love both of these so much, and I just wanted to show you, so yeah. So right now I'm DIYing some of my school supplies because I did not go shopping at all this year for school supplies. So that is why I decided not to do a what's in my backpack because it's all kind of old supplies and it's not, it's just not as exciting. So I'm just going to do some DIYs to make the school year a bit better. And um, yeah, so this is some of my school supplies. And the only thing I bought was a pencil pouch and a backpack. That's literally all I bought. I did not buy pencils. I did not buy anything else. Okay, so now it's time to show you my school supplies. I'm gonna start off by showing you the bag I got. Um, we decided to get this bag so it could last me all the way till grade 12 because I'm in grade, I'm going into grade nine. It's from Under Armour and it's this peach color. I really like it and it has gray on the bottom. So under here, there's like a shoe compartment. So like if, for example, I wanted to wear my Converse, but I had PE that day, I could just put my Converse in here and it would work out really well. And it has quite a few pockets and I'm still trying to decide what um, Eiffel Tower charm I want to put on this bag. I actually got these for free in Paris because the guy was being really, really nice. He was helping me like find my sizes in the shirt and the sweatshirt I went and bought. And he was like, I have I have no daughters. And then like at the end, he's like, wait. And then he gave me these and said, you're my daughter. So no, I'm not his daughter, but like, I don't know. Anyways, he was really nice and I liked him and he was nice, so yeah. So starting off over here, we have this French English dictionary. Um, no one ever uses these, but mm, whatever. Then I have my homework folder. Then we have one binder. This is for my foods and drama. And I put like washi tape on the dividers for, again, no reason, but I kind of wanted to. This one will be, I think, for humanities. So I have the same thing. I just put some fun tape on the dividers and paper. This one is for French. Last year they didn't ask for dividers for French, but like I really wished I had some. So I'm doing dividers this year. And then I kept some of my old French work to help me out this year. Um, yeah, and then paper. Anyways, then we have my math binder. Got some multiplication charts because those are from like last year. 
and some dividers. I have a lot of dividers in here. I don't know why. Um, anyways, and some paper. That is my math binder. Whoa, my arm looks like so red. Uh, and this will be my science binder. Um, dividers, paper, boring. And these are brand new dividers, so I didn't put any like um, tape on them. But I didn't buy them this year. They are just brand new, sitting in the closet. <laughs> so over here, I got some extra line paper. In here, we have some markers. And this pencil case was actually sent to me by a fan. I have a P.O. box, guys. It's in the description. Check it out. I love it when you guys send mail. In this pink pencil case, we have a bunch of extra like supplies, like pencils if I need it, because uh, they always end up breaking the lead pencils, and then it takes me like an hour to fix them. Uh, glue stick, and then all I have a bunch of pencil crayons, like I don't want to mess anything up, and then some extra pencils, staples, eraser, all in that. We have a ruler. In this fuzzy pencil pouch, I have math set and a calculator. So like for math, I can just bring this whole thing. And this thing stays in my backpack all year round. Um, I got a flamingo one this year because, as I said, the other one broke, so I needed a new one. In this pouch, I'm trying to do this with one hand, not satisfying, we got a final liner, blue pen with duct tape on it, black pen with duct tape on it, red pen with duct tape on it, whiteboard markers, Sharpie, lead pencil, highlighter. In the bigger pouch, we have a sharpener because I always had people asking me for a sharpener. I'm like, I use lead pencils. I'm sorry, I don't have one. So I'm keeping one this year in my bag. Scissors, glue stick with duct tape on it, pencil, eraser, and a little case. It's actually, I like the case. It's helpful. And like, you go like that. Yeah, okay, no. And the last thing we have is my mini stapler. Very, very helpful so you don't have to wait in line to staple your papers. And you can never forget the sticky notes. So I'm gonna pack all this up in my backpack and then after I'm gonna be doing a little mini photo shoot outside. I'm gonna try to get some good pictures. I'm gonna like do some kicks like that and like try to get some gymnastics poses pictures. So I decided to start painting my nails. I chose this yellow, but this is regular nail polish. It's not gel and I wanted to do gel. So I'm gonna try putting on a gel top coat over a regular nail polish, which I actually have never done before, surprisingly. Um, and I'm gonna do that and I'll show you what it looks like after. Guys, I'm so sad I thought it would work but literally it just like the top coat just wiped right off of the like polish basically what I'm saying it was a huge fail and I am seriously just gonna go buy some yellow gel nail polish so now I have to start all over again I painted it like I worked on it for a good hour because I had to wait for the actual nail polish to dry because it's real nail polish and I guess I'm gonna go back to doing the pink um, I gotta get all this off that's gonna be fun um, I will see you when I'm finished. So I'm finally, finally finished with my nails. Here's how they turned out. They are super basic, just like a dusty pink that's like very see-through. Anyways, I just went really simple because I didn't have enough time. Um, tomorrow, here's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this jean jacket from Forever 21. It's kind of jean jacket. I don't know. It's more of a stylish shirt. Um, and this is a romper from Garage. It looks like a dress though. Um, yeah, and then I'm probably gonna straighten my hair and, and yeah. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, click the I in the corner. There will be a few videos like there. And yeah, remember to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, Bethany G. And on the count of three, I'll say bye. One, two, three, bye! Oh baby, I love your madness